okay, graphing piecewise functions. What I want to be able to do is graph the three pieces of this function, f and x, on the different intervals that are given to us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the interval that's to the left of 2. So when we look at the graph of negative x squared, so if I do y equals a negative x squared, I know I've got a parabola that is frowning where the vertex is on the origin. So what we want to do is we want to graph just this part of the graph that is when it is less than 2. So 1, 2 is over here. I only want the part of the graph that is from where I just selected from there over to here. Now I just wanted to find that a little more clearly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a 2 for x. So what is a negative of 2 squared? So when I put in a 2, I get, end up getting a negative 4 back out. So I'm going to put and graph the order pair 2, negative 4. I'm going to keep the circle open because uh, it is just less than 2. I know my normal parabola should go through the order pair 0, 0, and the order pair negative 1, 1, and the order pair negative 2, 4, and order pair 1, 1. So this is the only part of that piece of that parabola that I want. I only wanted this side to the left of it. Okay, so now in the next piece of my graph, what I want to be able to do is graph a constant function, which is nothing more than a horizontal line, from 2 to a 4. And the 2 is included, so since the 2 is included, I want to graph a 3. So 3 sitting in here, solid dot on the 2, because at 2 is defined to be 3. I go all the way over to an input of 4, an open circle at 4. So there's my constant function. The third function that I'm going to graph is y equals x minus 3. So typically what I would see is x minus 3. It has a y-intercept of a negative 3 that has a slope of up one, right one. So this is going to be the graph that's coming through like this, but I only want the part of the graph that, that is good from uh, greater than or equal to 4. So I'm going to put a 4 in here, so 4 minus 3 equals a 1. So when I go out here, 1, 2, 3, 4 places, I only want that part of the graph that is equal to 1 or greater. So basically, I'm going to put in for a graph of 4, I get an output of 1, and it's going to have a slope of up one, right one for the rest of the time. And I'm going to have a piece of the graph that looks like this. So that is my piecewise function, and that's how I break it into different parts. I know what the parent function looks like, and then I just want to tear off the pieces that I want. And my pieces are defined by these intervals.